Hey guys, this is Jan Reptiles here. I was going to make a quick Pac-Man Frog um, uh, care video, but when I was going through my Pac-Man Frog's tank, I found this. Right now, it's it's a live cricket and it's molting. It's really cool. It's trying to get out of it right now. I don't have anything to put it in, or I would get it. But it's really weird it's just coming out very slowly I don't know anything about like crickets or anything if they're like what like if it is like a breeding thing like mealworms or something I don't know so I also got my first beetle today I mean yesterday but that was late at night and I didn't want to make a video of it but so here's this thing you know what, um, I'm gonna be right back, I'll get, um, my, um, tub -or. So here he is, a kind of closer up view. He wasn't falling around so much. And, and you would be able to get a really good view of him. There he is. He's almost out. That's, but I wasn't really expecting that when I was gonna be making a Pac-Man Frog video. So, but I'm still going to make the video anyways. And I just dropped a water bottle. I'll clean that up later. So, um, I have a pretty simple setup here. Um, I have... Oh, no, one second. Alright. Here we go. Um, I have a water dish. I have moss. And some dirt. That's it. That's pretty much all you need. You, you also need it to be very moist, so I sp um, take a spray bottle and I spray it down every, like, hour or so. And right now, he, um, she, actually, yes, I found out it's a she, so I changed the name to Artemis, um, like, the Greek god of the hunt. Um, well, she's doing good. On Friday, I will be feeding her her fir very first pinky. So I'm excited about that because I wanted to see if she'll eat that or what is going to go on. Um, all this moss right here I got at, at the expo that I got her at. Um, it's live moss and it's really good. It's doing good so far. But so what you're going to want is you're going to want a pretty thick layer of dirt so they can burrow. They're a burrowing species. She, um, she's burrowed and that's why you can't really see her right now. Hold on one second. Alright. Yeah, and then there's this little thing that got stuck onto it. So, then, um, yes, I'm filming it, filming it with my computer, and you can see the screen and everything. So, yeah. Um, and then, um, you're gonna want the dirt very, th um, deep so they can burrow. You want some live moss or a live plant. I'm gonna get some clothos soon, so they could um um like redo their or and I mean um um they can recycle the waste. And I'm also going to get um like a mesh a mesh screen and then get some hydro balls because the hydro balls um they circulate the water that I spritz in so it doesn't get all so I don't have to change the substrate all the time. So I'm looking forward to everything. Um, cricket's still not out of its moat. I'm trying to like up, oh, and it is almost out. That's weird. Up oh, there, there it is again. Pretty much almost out. Um, what am I supposed to do with that, though? I don't know if I should try and feed it, or kill it or something. Because I'm not going to be breeding crickets. My friend is. Maybe I'll just give it to him. Get the hell off of Maybe if I use the tongs. Oh, there we go. And there's the cricket. I don't think you can really see it. The malt is on top of it. There you are. 
it's out. Does it like? I don't. Um. Yeah, and it's going at it. It's eating. It's more it's disgusting. So back to this. You want a shallow water dish because they can drown. Um. That's pretty much all you want. Oh, and also, I have a. I got a shipment yesterday of some carnivorous plant. This is a very temporary tank. Like, I mean, like, very temporary. Like, I'll be getting a tank tomorrow. Um, it just has some moss. I'm not really sure all the names of it. I have Venus flytraps and cobra, a cobra's nest. Some, um, and then I got one up here because it didn't fit. Because that's how small. They're really small plants, so. though. Um, I, fe I fed with them um, a mealworm. Don't know if it's uh, good for them, but I'm gonna, I mainly am gonna feed them crickets. Not mealworms. So, and now there's something else I want to talk about. Talk about. And it is about the subscriptions and stuff. So, I still have no subscribers. And I still need them. And I got a baby albino and I'm breeding them um, in March. So, if you, once I get, uh, if I get 100 subscribers in March, then they'll be getting the albino Pac-Man frog baby because I'm going to be getting a male at the next expo and if you're wondering how I sex tip because it's a baby um, I found out online that the girls well it's a, like a it's a pretty kind of accurate way I'm not completely sure but I think it's a girl the girls their noses are like kind of pointed and the boys are kind of flat faced so that doesn't mean that's like completely correct that it's a girl and so don't like judge me if yours is like if you think it's a girl and starts croaking. I have heard it um Artemis croak, so I still think it's a girl. And it's she's doing good. So I'm going to be breeding them in the in March and during the spring. And um then I'm going to be also getting um I was thinking about getting a red eared slider. I'm not sure if I want it, but I just might. I'm probably gonna get a bearded dragon because um I know somebody who has bearded dragons and they might want to give one to me. Um I'm getting um a leopard gecko. Um well one soup um I just want one kind of super leopard gecko. And that leopard gecko I was going to be breeding with my friend um, my friend's leopard gecko, and I don't know what they're going to be making, but everything's looking fine. Um, we're also starting, like, a website, um, where we're going to be selling reptiles. We don't have any, we don't have a website now, but we will be making one, so you can buy reptiles and stuff off of that if you want. Also, I might be, um, I don't know what, um, which... Reptile Expo, but I know that I will be at one of the vending stations for a Reptile Expo in New York. But that might be next year. Um, I'm not really sure. It depends on how many reptiles and amphibians I have. Um, I was thinking about getting a leopard gek. Um, I mean, um, poisonous dart frogs. But not again, I'm not really sure. Um, I'm not really sure what else. I think that's pretty much it. So I just need you guys all to just to subscribe to this account, and that's it. Um, just subscribe, and the hundredth subscriber will be getting a um baby albino Pac-Man frog, not the one that I have here, but a different one when I breed. So subscribe. Bye, bye, guys.